Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China still expanding its local sales channels amid service ramp. Tesla FSD beta 10.69.2.2, extending to 160,000 owners in US and Canada, says Elon Musk. Tesla is borrowing autopilot team for Optimus humanoid robot project. And, Tesla working to release updated auto park and smart summon that is actually smart, says Elon Musk. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Last week, reports emerged, suggesting, that Tesla China is considering a shift in its strategy for the local markets. This reportedly involved the electric vehicle maker, closing some of its showrooms in high-tier locations, so that Tesla can focus on ramping its stores in areas that can also host a service and maintenance center. The report was shared by Reuters, which cited information from individuals familiar with the matter. The publication highlighted that Tesla China has gone on a hiring spree for its service network, with the company's recruitment website showing over 300 openings for service jobs alone earlier this month. Tesla China spoke about the matter on Monday. In a response to the publication's claims, the electric vehicle maker highlighted that it is still expanding its sales in China at a normal pace. This suggests that the company is not slowing down the expansion of its sales, even in high-tier locations, that cannot accommodate a service center. Tesla does not operate through dealerships, like a traditional automaker. Instead, the company owns and operates all its stores, similar to tech giant Apple and its ubiquitous Apple stores. Tesla also sells its cars online, which allows customers to purchase a vehicle at a price that's set by the carmaker itself. This strategy has paid off largely for the automaker, with many buyers appreciating the company's dealership-free model. Tesla's sales strategy has largely paid off over the years. Today, the company stands as the industry's largest automaker by market cap, with a valuation of over $968 billion. It also helped Tesla gain momentum in key areas like China. Since Gigafactory Shanghai started customer deliveries, the company's hold on the Chinese auto market has only grown. In the first eight months of the year alone, Tesla was able to sell 400,000 Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossovers from Gigafactory Shanghai. About 60% of this number was sold locally, while the rest was sold in foreign territories such as Europe, according to data from the China Passenger Car Association. This represents a year-over-year -year growth of 67%. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta 10.69.2.2, extending to 160,000 owners in US and Canada, says Elon Musk. It appears that after several iterations and adjustments, FSD Beta 10.69 is ready to roll out to the greater FSD Beta program. Elon Musk mentioned the update on Twitter, with the CEO stating that version 10.69.2.2 should extend to 160,000 owners in the United States and Canada. Similar to his other announcements about the FSD beta program, Musk's comments were posted on Twitter. FSD beta 10.69.2.1 looks good, extending to 160,000 owners in US and Canada, Musk wrote, before correcting himself and clarifying that he was talking about FSD beta 10.69.2.2, not version 10.69.2.1. While Elon Musk has a known tendency to be extremely optimistic about FSD beta-related statements, his comments about version 10.69.2.2 do reflect observations from some of the program's longtime members. Veteran FSD beta tester Holmar's blog, who does not shy away from criticizing the system if it does not work well, noted that his takeovers with version 10.69.2.2 have been marginal. Fellow FSD beta tester Gail Alfer ATX reported similar observations. Tesla definitely seems to be pushing to release FSD to its fleet. Recent comments from Tesla's senior director of investor relations, Martin Vicha, during an invite-only Goldman Sachs tech conference, have hinted that the electric vehicle maker is on track to release supervised FSD around the end of the year. 
That's around the same time as Elon Musk's estimate for FSD's wide release. It should be noted, of course, that even if Tesla manages to release supervised FSD to consumers by the end of the year, the version of the advanced driver assist system would still require drivers to pay attention to the road and follow proper driving practices. With a feature-complete supervised FSD, however, Teslas would be able to navigate on their own, regardless of whether they are in the highway or in inner city streets. And that, ultimately, is a feature that will be extremely hard to beat. Moving to the next update, Tesla is borrowing autopilot team for Optimus humanoid robot project. Elon Musk said that Tesla is borrowing the autopilot team for its Optimus humanoid robot project, which has a deadline at the end of the month. The CEO has said that the Tesla bot project has become a priority. Tesla's approach to selling autopilot and now its full self-driving package, features before they are ready, is creating some pressure to deliver, but Tesla has missed several timelines already. CEO Elon Musk has talked about Tesla turning its fleet into 1 million robotaxi vehicles by the end of the year, but the goal has now changed to expanding its FSD beta program, which is still far from being able to perform a robotaxi service. Many customers are getting impatient to the point that some have filed a class action lawsuit against Tesla over its claims about autopilot and the FSD package. Some were also worried that Tesla was spreading itself thin when adding its Optimus humanoid robot project to its plate, and Musk even said that the robot has become a top priority at Tesla. Tesla planned to leverage its work on computer vision for self-driving to use in the robot, which raised concerns, considering the automaker has yet to deliver on its self-driving promises, despite selling the feature to customers. Now when an owner asked Musk about a fix in autopilot on Twitter last night, the CEO seems to suggest that it would have to wait because the autopilot team is working on Optimus. The deadline at the end of the month for Optimus is the Tesla AI Day 2, during which the company is expected to unveil its first working prototype of the robot. Moving to the last update, Tesla working to release updated auto park and smart summon that is actually smart, says Elon Musk. Auto park and smart summon are two features of Tesla's enhanced autopilot and full self-driving packages that receive very little attention from owners and apparently Tesla themselves. Neither feature has seen much of an improvement in its capabilities since they were released, and they could definitely use some improvement, as owners experience a myriad of issues, with both from Auto Park, often not detecting a vacant spot, to Smart Summon, being called Dumb Summon for obvious reasons. The good news is, Tesla's brightest minds have been working to fix that. According to CEO Elon Musk, the autopilot and AI team has a September 30th deadline to provide an actually smart smart summon and auto park. It is not clear if that deadline is for a public release or an internal deadline, but Musk also said the deadline applied to Optimus, which he is hoping to show off on AI Day 2 on September 30th. Smart Summon was first released in the big version 10 software update in September 2019. The feature was quickly tested by owners in parking lots across North America, leading to some interesting videos appearing on social media and even appearing on local news broadcasts. One such incident happened in British Columbia, where a Model 3 was filmed driving by itself through a busy and crowded parking lot in Richmond, with headlines calling it bizarre, shocking, and dangerous. The smart summon experiences haven't been all bad. The feature worked perfectly for an owner in Miami Beach, Florida, using it to bring his Model Y out of a flooded area of the parking lot and drive to the front of the store. Tesla has worked to improve Auto Park recently, switching the feature last year to use the car's multiple cameras to detect vacant spots and painted lines, instead of the ultrasonic sensors, getting rid of the need for a car on either side in order for it to work. There have also been rumors that Tesla has been testing reverse summon, where instead of summoning the car to you, you would exit the car and it would find a parking spot by itself. The feature reportedly has three different modes, depending on where exactly you want the car to park itself within the parking lot. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments.
Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.